Robert Mugabe is Zimbabwe cricket's biggest fan. But some of Zimbabwe's cricketers haven't always felt the same way about their president. The year was 2003. Zimbabwe were getting ready to co-host the Cricket World Cup for the first time along with South Africa and Kenya. But President Mugabe's recent policies hadn't gone down too well with the international community. These radical land reforms had led to the seizure of white-owned farms, thousands of arrests and human rights abuses. There was a growing concern among Zimbabwe's cricketers as well. I come from a farming background and, and my family have been affected. Um, but first and foremost for me, is, is playing cricket. Mugabe showed blatant disregard for any criticism and his opponents were eager to bowl him out. As a show of defiance, the England national team opted not to play their scheduled match in Harare, even if it meant losing crucial points. It will not uh, play uh, its match scheduled for Harare on 13th of February 2003. Mugabe faced opposition from within as well. Zimbabwe's most successful player, Andy Flower, and the country's first black cricketer, Henry Olonga, wore black armbands during the opening game in the tournament in protest of the death of democracy in Zimbabwe. It's really nice to see that there are people out there who believe in what we've done. As we said in the statement, it's the right thing to do. Flower announced his retirement right after the World Cup and moved to England. Olonga wasn't as lucky. The 26-year-old went into hiding following death threats and was even being chased by Mugabe's secret police. He also faced the possibility of being charged with treason, which in Zimbabwe is punishable by death. Olonga never returned to Zimbabwe, and his career as an international cricket was over. He's famously quoted as saying that uh, he loves cricket because it civilizes people. <laughs> I guess you have to play it for it to civilize you. I, 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 don't, I don't think he played. Um. Mugabe's complicated relationship with cricket continued. In 2004, cricket in Zimbabwe hit rock bottom under the patronage of Mugabe. Captain Heath Streak was sacked for protesting against a quota system for black cricketers. Most senior cricketers backed their captain and were involved in a standoff with the Zimbabwean Cricketing Union. A second string team consisting mostly of black cricketers were then picked to represent the country. There were allegations of anti-white bias spilling onto the cricket field, but these accusations were eventually cleared. There is absolutely no evidence of racism within the, Z the Zimbabwe Cricket Union. Mugabe's fondness for cricket also meant constant political interference. His government chose board members and committees which often included his henchmen. They banned international journalists from traveling to the country to cover the sport. The government start playing politics with actual professional individual sportsmen, and that just is not acceptable. Increasing global condemnation and boycott of the Mugabe regime had an impact on cricket as well. In 2008, even as Mugabe won yet another controversial election, some cricketing nations severed bilateral ties with the country. Zimbabwe's crippling economy had also been an issue. This led to salary disputes with players and sometimes there wasn't even enough money to pay for cricketers' meals. Mugabe has been accused of ruining Zimbabwe's economy, widespread corruption and gross human rights abuses. But would Zimbabwe's cricket team be at its peak today if it hadn't been run out by Mugabe? <laughs>